Think of the last ride you had that just felt so good. You got completely lost in the moment. You lost track of time. Uh, maybe it was an amazing ride. Maybe it was just you were out hanging with your horse or playing with your horse, but you felt so immersed that all of the daily life bothers and worries that you just weren't even conscious of them. This is actually called flow. It's that state of being totally lost in the moment and totally immersed in what you're doing. And when we get there, when we get there in our riding, it feels so good. And I think for many of us, this is what keeps us coming back to riding, even through all of those rides that don't feel so amazing. So in this state of flow, have you ever thought about the science of what gets you there? of both what this state is and also how we can start to kind of engineer how we can find this state. This state of flow, as defined by researcher Csikszentmihalyi, who has spent a lot of his career studying what the state actually is and how it's created, is this place where the level of challenge and the level of ability find a sweet spot. So if you think about that last ride that just felt pretty good, I wonder if this was true for you. Were you doing something that was a little challenging, but it also, you had the ability to do it. So here's what happens. Let's look at this little, you know I love my graphs. So let's look at this graph to help understand how we can help to engineer this experience for ourselves. So we have the um, level of challenge here, and then we have our level of ability here. And what this means is when we're working in a state of low ability and low challenge, we kind of just have apathy. Think if maybe this is something like um, driving to the barn. You don't really have to give any conscious thought. You're probably not getting lost in driving because you're taking the old familiar route, your brain's thinking about other things, and you're just in the state of apathy. If it's something that takes a little bit more ability, but there's no challenge, you're probably just going to be bored. Driving could fit into this category as well. If it's something that takes a lot of your ability, but is still a low level of challenge for you, then it's something where you're relaxed in. And maybe this is something, this could be a level of riding for you. Maybe it's where you're grooming your horse. There's certainly a level of uh, ability and skill that comes into grooming, observing the horse as you're grooming, but there's not a whole lot of challenge to it. So it's just a relaxing experience. And then when we start to go up this level of challenge, but our level of skill and ability is low, first, if it's just a moderate challenge, we start to get worried. If it starts to go higher, then we can get into anxiety. So that's the state of anxiety happens when the challenge, the perceived challenge is higher, is high in comparison to what our ability is. Then we get into anxiety. But when we find this spot where the challenge is really high, but we have the skill to be able to meet that challenge, that's when we hit the state of flow. And it's really fascinating. I'll share some more reading down below if you wanna go deeper into this. But in this state of flow, it's a, a pretty specific um, state that they've been able to observe in the brain where part of the conscious thinking areas of the brain are um, in essence, they're, they're kind of offline. So basically the procedural memory, the pattern parts of the brain, those skills that you've, that you've worked on start to take over and they fire really quickly. So it kind of knocks off that conscious part of the brain where you're thinking through things because when we're working at that level where the challenge is high, but we can tap into our learned skills and abilities to do it, we don't have time to be thinking through everything. So think about where this might apply for you. Where is, what's something that is a challenge, but yet you've got the ability to do it. So it might be right now when you're um, riding a rising trot and you can hit the state of flow in rising trot because that's about where your level of skill is. It's a challenge for you and you can get lost in that. Maybe in another um, few weeks or a few months of riding though, the trot, will start to come down into one of these phases for you, where the challenge isn't quite so high anymore, 
And then in order to keep finding this state of flow, you're going to need to push yourself a little further. Maybe it's riding a different horse. Maybe it's starting to work on the canner. So that's this, this state where the challenge and where our abilities are, where they meet in just the right place to create this is always a moving target. But I would really encourage you to think about where can you find this and how can you use this to keep improving yourself as a rider. And uh, we've talked a little bit about comfort zone and some other videos. How can you also use this to think about how you can expand where your current skill set and your current comfort zone are. Now I'd love to hear from you. In the beginning of this video, I had asked you to think of a time that you had a really good ride or a really good session with your horse, time spent with your horse. And I'd love to hear that story. So go ahead and scroll down and put it in the comments below. Tell us a time that you felt like you were in flow and what did it feel like? Give us the story of it. We would love to hear it because we can all relate to, sometimes they might even just be fleeting moments, but those times that we truly get lost in enjoying the ride. Thank you for tuning in here to my weekly show. Be sure to check out the many other free resources I have available and also our premium courses as well. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, about the mindset of riding and how to build or rebuild your confidence as a rider, you might enjoy my Calm and Confident Rider course and you'll find the link for that down below this video. Have a great day.